Eagles have and still continue to fascinate me. Uh, the more I learn about them, the more videos I watch, uh, whether it's them hunting or having nests, uh, raising up their chicks, however it may be, uh, they always amaze me of uh, just that divine characteristic trait uh, in the kingdom characteristic trait that our Heavenly Father, our God, has embedded into them. So today, guys, I want to talk to you about another, what I like to call the Eagle Principle, and what we can learn from this Eagle Principle, and actually the leadership uh, takeaway that we can learn from that, the leadership principles uh, that we can take away from that, how we can apply it into our personal life, into our spiritual life, and learn from that. So here's one of the facts. Uh, eagles do not eat dead things. They only eat fresh prey. That's kind of interesting. Uh, why is that so interesting? Because when you look at another uh, type of a bird, uh, like a vulture, they, they look forward to e eating or feasting on a dead animal that's been already rotten in the sun or in the desert. You know, obviously there's other birds like, you know, crow and there's other animals likewise, but specifically for eagles, that's interesting. They only uh, feed off a of fresh kill, something that they personally kill and they eat. So what is the life application? What is the spiritual principle or the leadership principle and takeaway that we can learn from that? As leaders or as God's children, uh, we need to be very careful what we feed our vision with, what we feed our heart with, what we feed our spirit in with, what we feed our brains with. We need to be very careful and cautious because there's a lot of information out there you know not necessarily knowledge but information that could be deadly to us just as much as an eagle is not going to touch a roadkill that was run over by a car we need to be careful not to feed our heart our mind the things that are deadly to our heart and, and our spirit man also only uh fresh what, what other things we can learn from this uh, leadership a lesson from the eagle only fresh ideas will make you stand out from the rest of your competition or from from everyone else or should i say only that as God's children will make us stand out from the rest of this world and uh, it will keep you healthy, strong. And I think one of the great examples that I can compare to this particular fact about an eagle is when God commanded the Israelites when they were in the desert by saying, look guys, you want food? That's fine. I'll give you fresh manna from heaven. But here's a catch, or should I say here's a commandment and a challenge. They need to wake up every morning and eat the manna fresh. Obviously, you know, some thought they were very smart even though God already forewarned them you can only gather enough for one day if not the next day it's gonna have maggots in it and it's gonna get spoiled so some thought they were much smarter and wiser than God and they gathered enough probably for a week some maybe for a month and wake up in the morning it's already rotten away smelling maggots in it worms and and, and just very unpleasant so with that said, it's uh, very important for us as a child of God, as a son of God, as a daughter of God, to take this uh, and learn this valuable life principle from the eagle. Uh, there's a reason why God has uniquely uh, placed these characteristic traits into this animal, the eagle. Now, there's nothing wrong with a vulture. It also fulfills its purpose. But stick with me. I'm just trying to uh, share this principle, divine principle with you. It's very important for us to feed our mind, to feed our heart, our spirit man of fresh things, of heavenly things, of divine things, things that will help us to fulfill our purpose, things that will help us uh, to do the things that God has placed upon our hearts. Because there's a lot of things out there, whether we watch them, whether we listen to them, or, or the association, it's just a lot of dead. It's, uh, it's empty. It's void. And when we allow the wrongful things, or should I say, uh, the things that are actually uh, dumbing out our heart and our spirit man, and deafen out our spiritual ears to hear what the Holy Spirit's trying to speak to us, obviously those things are going to uh, prevent us from fulfilling our kingdom purpose upon this earth. So hopefully this was a valuable uh, principle and you learned a few things uh, from this uh, unique animal, the eagle, and the fact that they, they stick to eating fresh food or fresh prey. And like me and my friend, feed on the things that bring life to your heart, to your spirit, man, and those around you. All right, until next time.